Hey, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a Magura clutch on a Honda CR250R. A common complaint on these full-size bikes with the cable style clutch is a lever that is hard to pull in. Now, there's several different reasons why these can be hard to pull in. Maybe you have heavy duty clutch springs, you could have a frayed cable, or maybe you just need to lube the cable up. And sometimes when the lever and perch start to wear out, they start to bind a little bit. So if you've tried to take care of these things and you still want a lighter pull on your clutch, that's where Magura comes into play. They claim up to 25% lighter pull, depending on your model, and it's self-adjusting for both wear and expansion. And my favorite part about it is there's zero maintenance. That means no more having to lube your cable. So a lot of people think that these are hard to install, but that couldn't be further from the truth. If you can replace this cable, then you can install one of these clutches. So today I'm gonna to show you how to get this done on a 2004 CR250R, but the same process will apply to a lot of different dirt bikes. So we'll go ahead and get this installed. To do this job, we really just need some basic hand tools, rags, and safety glasses. We have our Magura hydraulic clutch kit. It comes with a user manual, so read through that, get familiar with the process. And we're also using our model-specific service manual since this cable routing follows the stock clutch cable all the way down. To start out, we need to gain access to our clutch cable and the routing. So what we'll do, we'll remove the seat, gas tank, and number plate. The next thing we'll do is remove this magneto cover. Now that we have all the covers and panels out of the way, we'll route this hydraulic line next to our stock clutch cable just to follow the stock routing. Now that we have our new line routed up where it needs to go, what I'm gonna do is remove the stock perch and install the Magura onto the bars. And I'm just gonna put this close to where it needs to be for now and we'll do our final adjustments later on. So we're now ready to mount up the slave cylinder to do this, we'll disconnect our original cable. And to get this cable end out, you might need to loosen the adjustments on your cable. So now that we have enough slack in the cable, we'll go ahead and remove it. And don't forget we have this retainer, so you do wanna run your new hydraulic line through that. And we'll go ahead, I'm gonna pull this cable all the way out and completely remove it with the stock perch. So now we're ready to mount up our slave cylinder. And this just goes in right where that stock cable went in. But the kit did come with a couple different size collars. So first we'll try the smaller one. We're gonna check the play after that. And then if we need to adjust it, we'll switch to this bigger collar. Before I slide this on, I'm gonna put just a little bit of grease on that O-ring just to help it slide in and out easier. So we'll just pop that rod right into place on this actuating arm. Now I'm gonna pull up on the slave cylinder and we're gonna use our caliper and we need to measure the free play. So on these we want between four and six millimeters of free play. So we're just a little over four millimeters of free play on this, so we're good to go. If we had a ton of free play in there, we could try installing this taller collar, see if that takes it up. So on this one, we only have the two options. So now that we have that installed, I'm gonna go up to the handle and make sure everything operates correctly. So now that we know this works good, what we'll do, we've gotta finish routing this up. So so I'm just gonna fold down this retainer 
and then double check the routing, make sure we're not hitting any pinch spots or hot spots. Then we'll go ahead, we'll reinstall our covers, our gas tank and our seat. And that's all there is to installing the Magura hydraulic clutch. It's really that easy and it can make a huge difference in your riding. It's really easy to pull in. I like it a lot. So if you need this part, check out our website. We have it on there. And if you need anything else for your bike, we have a ton of different options on there, both OEM and aftermarket parts. If you like this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a ton of other helpful videos on there. Thanks for watching.